Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. Today's Excel tip is on how to copy your charts to PowerPoint. So suppose you've got some data here and you've created a nice price chart out of it. Let's just recalculate that now and notice how the, the chart is changing. And we want to get this across into PowerPoint. If you want to follow along with the tip, you go to ExcelExperts.com and search the site for the word PowerPoint and you'll get to Excel tips number 93. So here's what we do. We can, let's bring up PowerPoint. I'll just delete these and go back here, copy the range select our PowerPoint presentation uh, and press Control V to paste. It takes a while because it's embedding an object. That is an object that we can now drag around and we can place wherever we want. So same for the price. Copy that. Select it. Paste. And notice that if I change the the chart. So let's say I recalculate it. Click here, press F9. If I go back to my PowerPoint presentation, the chart is exactly the same. So this chart is updating dependent on our data in Excel. Now that can be useful, but it can also be annoying if you want to create a static view of your Excel sheet. So let's move that over here. And here's how we create a static view. Copy, Control C, click on PowerPoint, and then go from here. We want to paste special and then choose a bitmap, for example. Boom. And there you have it. You can then resize that, and that will not change when you update the data. Now with the chart, right click, copy, you can paste special, you can paste it as a PNG. And you've got the same functionality here. If I go back here and calculate F9, you'll notice that this chart is up to date, this one isn't. In terms of what's the difference, I would definitely recommend doing this way. Just PNGs and, uh, and bitmaps because the size of your presentation will be a lot less. You risk your presentation blowing up less because if your data in here goes all wrong, then um, your chart will break. And if you're trying to do a presentation, it's a lot better to just create a static version of, of your view. So that's it. You've been listening to ExcelExperts.com on how to get things from Excel over to PowerPoint.